Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Love it or hate it, I gotta break this news to you right now. iOS 13, it's about to be old news. Apple's already working heavily on <laughs> iOS 14, pouring a lot of resources into that, but there is still one major iOS 13 update on the way that will likely be iOS 13.4. Some info about this last release for iOS 13 has already been confirmed, so I wanna go over that when we can expect to see this, and of course, keep you up to date on the latest Apple news per usual. So drop a like if you are looking forward to this video, it does seriously help me out, and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on everything the company's working on. So as iOS 13.4 is Apple's last chance to perfect iOS 13, we're not going to be expecting a lot here. And traditionally, that's never what we get. We don't get this out of this world feature that we've been waiting on. I do not think we're gonna get the ability to easily decline phone calls in this update, but I do think we are gonna be getting the leftovers for what Apple hasn't been able to figure out just yet. At this point, it's pretty much expected that even though we get a ton of new features announced, in June for that software, some of it will not ship. Group FaceTime and iOS 12 didn't ship right off the bat. It came a little bit later. For iOS 11, AirPlay 2 was one of the headlining features that didn't ship until a couple of days before iOS 13 was announced. And this year, there's been one feature for iOS 13 that Apple confirmed months ago that still isn't here just yet, and that's iCloud folder sharing. Why this has been delayed for so long, we have absolutely no idea, considering that already built in and working quite well from what I understand is sharing links to iCloud documents like pages or numbers or keynote files. You can share those with other people really easily. Trying to put those in a folder though and sharing them will not work at all. And you can actually experience this for yourself right now. Head over to your files app, go to your iCloud drive, and then try to select a folder. When you do that, the share icon in the bottom left corner will not show up regardless of what you do, but find an individual document and then try to do the same thing and you can share it pretty much instantly, whether with yourself or AirDrop. It's just a really weird setup right now that for some reason Apple struggled with. A few months ago, Apple's website indicated that this would be out before the end of 2019, but now if you check the same site where it lists all of Apple's iOS 13 features, they do confirm that this feature specifically, it's the last one remaining and it's coming this spring. Apple could roll this into something a bit smaller, but based on what they've done for the past couple of years, a point four release has been a part of the narrative, and I think that's going to continue this year. Even Bloomberg has alluded to the fact that a somewhat large iOS 13 update is coming, but again, I don't think it's going to be feature-packed, and this is the only thing we know about for sure. This and that it's coming in spring, so I believe iOS 13.4 will be dropping between Thursday, March 19th and Saturday, June 20th. According to Google, that is the spring season, so we're probably going to see this sometime around the April or May range. Other tweaks in this release could be related to the Mail app, which Apple has pushed out countless bug fixes to, and while it seems to be working pretty well in its current state, has not had the best time this release. Bluetooth is another area that seriously went downhill with iOS 13, and it seems impressive that the underlying technology hadn't changed, but it had so many issues, and to this day, I don't believe it's as reliable as it was last year. Regardless though of how iOS 13 ends up, iOS 14 is said to be a different story according to a Bloomberg report from a couple of weeks ago, which also previewed an update coming sometime in the spring, well, we know that it's going to be better for iOS 14, or at least that's Apple's goal. They're aware of the pitfalls, they don't want it to be as buggy because they're trying to provide a good experience, and we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out because that is a narrative that we've heard before. But between now and iOS 14, we got iOS 13.4 to look forward to, and I wanna hear your thoughts on this down below. Is there one feature or one fix in particular that you still really wanna see? That's all I've got for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe for more. I've been Sam, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.